In this video, we'll be doing our chapter a uh, chapter six review. Um, we're going to be doing this review because we need to um, we need to review um, some parts of chapter six so we can make sure we can um, get through the rest of this chapter one. So we'll just look at a couple of problems. Um, this will be number one. We want to solve x plus 3 equals 6. Let's change that to x plus 4 equals 6. And this is where we add the opposite. So we'll add a negative 4 to both sides, and we get x equals 2. So let's look at a different example, number 2. Let's say I'm looking at x minus 7 equals negative 8. I'm going to do my keep, change, change. And then again, we will add the opposite. The opposite of negative 7 is 7. So we'll add 7 to both sides. And we'll get x equals negative 8 plus 7 would be negative 1. So that's how we can do the add the opposite. And I'll keep change change. Um, next we'll deal with how we will deal with multiplication and division. So if I'm looking at x over 3 is equal to 6, we'll turn everything into fractions, writing in our hidden ones. Now the fraction I want to get rid of is the 1 over 3. I'm trying to get rid of this fraction, so I'll use 3 over 1. And I'll do the same thing to this side, multiplying by 3 over 1. Those will cancel. And we'll have x equals 18 over 1. Simplifying, x equals 18. Another example would be if I saw something like 4x equals 24. Same process with hiding, writing in our hidden ones. So we'll draw our line down the middle. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So I'm multiplying by 1 over 4. Canceling. So we multiply our fractions together and we'll get x equals 24 times 1 is 24 and 1 times 4 is 4. Simplifying, fraction bar means division, 24 divided by 4 is 6. Now we'll do problems that involve both. So let's see if I'm doing 3x plus 2 equals 8. We'll draw our line down the middle. We'll get rid of constants first, so we'll add the opposite, add negative 2 first. So the 2 and negative 2 will cancel. That leaves the 3x as the only thing left, so I'll bring the 3x down. Equals 8 plus negative 2 is 6. We'll write in our hidden ones, then multiply by the reciprocals, trying to get x by itself, so we'll multiply both sides by 1 over 3. So we'll cancel and we'll have x equals 6 over 3, simplifying x equals 2. One more. <coughs> so 
So this is when we have to do our distributed property first. So we'll have 4 times 3x plus 2 is equal to negative 4. First thing we'll do is our distributive property. That's our rainbows. Meaning to multiply. 4 times 3x is 12x plus Multiplying again, 4 times 2 is 8, equals negative 4. Draw our line down the middle. And now we'll just do our two steps like we did over here. But we'll add the opposite, plus negative 8, plus negative 8. Will give us, we have 12x left behind, so we have 12x. 8 and negative 8 cancel equals negative 4 plus negative 8. Same signs add. Keep the sign of the larger number, so we have negative 12. We'll write in our hidden ones. Multiplying both sides by the reciprocal. Twelve and one cancel. We'll have x equals negative twelve times one is negative twelve over one times twelve is twelve. Simplifying, negative twelve divided by twelve is negative one. We're done with that problem. So we just need to do a quick review to help us get through the rest of this unit coming up. Um, so we will do a review assignment on Monday. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.